My name is Brett Cohen. I am the chief of the Memorial Physician Group General Surgery Division, and I'm also the medical director of the Memorial Weight Loss Surgery Program. Memorial Healthcare System has always based our care on a family-centered safety issues for patients, and it's no more important than it is now. We talk about things like heart disease, we talk about things like stroke, vascular disease, and in the surgical subspecialties, the things that we take care of like hernias, gallbladder disease, we do a lot of obesity surgery, and so those issues don't go away, and we need to find a way to get back to taking care of those in a very, very safe fashion. Phase one for a surgical approach is gonna be looking at the more routine operations that we do, whether it's in our operating room, the endoscopy suites, the uh, interventional cardiology suites, the interventional radiology suites. Again, patients coming in for those routine procedures, going home the same day, giving us the opportunity to step back, to analyze what's happening, making sure it's safe for our patients, safe for our staff and our physicians. Then we'll make the commitment to moving on to phase two, which will be the more complex, more involved procedures, utilizing the ICU beds once again, the blood supply and longer cases. Weight loss surgery, some of the procedures we do like sleeve gastrectomies will fall into phase one because those are typically observation type encounters, patients that stay overnight and go home the next day. Patients that are coming into the hospital, if someone gets admitted into the hospital, everybody's being tested for coronavirus, so we know everybody's status. Everybody coming in for a procedure goes to one of our new pre-admitting testing areas where they're gonna be getting their pre-admission, their registration, their clearances. They'll meet with anesthesiology. They have the opportunity to meet with one of our pharmacists. They can get lab tests and other tests done at the center. And they'll also get a, a COVID test at least 24 to 48 hours prior to their procedure. Memorial has always based itself on taking care of the community. We've always put our patients first. We've always put safety first. As we move forward into the next phases of this, that's not gonna change for the Memorial Healthcare System. Our patients always come first, we take care of our community, and we will continue to do that in a safe way and in a way that makes everybody comfortable coming to a memorial position.